Welcome everyone, Christine here on Serious Gaming with my playthrough of Battle for Middle Earth, the Return of Shadow mod, the Rittermark edition. I don't really have a playthrough of this, but this mod seems very interesting. No music, because content ID matches. There is gonna be some music in cinematics gonna be, that's playing, because that's uh, tied to a different volume slider. But the game is not gonna have uh, music outside of that. Mordor is the land of the Dark Lord Sauron. He has dominion over this bleak and wasted landscape, and all who enter it. Sauron wages war with all of Middle-earth. He must be stopped, or all shall fall into darkness. The hobbit Frodo Baggins now bears the ring. Guarded by a fellowship drawn from all the free peoples of Middle-earth. The One Ring must be returned to Mount Doom and destroyed in the very fires of its creation. Okay, so right from the get-go there are obviously some changes. So you have a Lugdush and the Sires and Guard Army. Then you have Lords, Ugluk and um, Mahur. All of these are lore characters, book characters. Uh, you have Shatuk. Okay, Erkenbrand, uh, Elmer. Uh, Erkenbrand was the Lord of the uh, of the Westfold, I believe, if I remember correctly. He was left behind while the army marched on Minas Tirith, but he was certainly instrumental in the books in the Battle of Helm's Deep. See, at Helm's Deep in the books, Elmir was at Helm's Deep. The whole point is for him to establish a relationship with Aragorn, because both of them were going to become kings of Gondor and Rohan, respectively. So that was uh, Tolkien's intent. Of course, Peter Jackson changed that. Then you have Mardil, all of these book characters, Faramir, Mablung. Okay, and then various armies. So already changes from the beginning. Then you have an elven army of 20 Lorian elves. Anyway, let's go and begin this with uh, Moria. And obviously there's quite a few changes. You don't have Arkham Baron in the default game. This is based on a movie license, not a book license. The mines of Moria. Once proud city of the dwarves. Its ruined halls are now infested with vile goblins. Okay. So be it then. So, Moria. All right, time to deal with these uh, goblins. And they call it a mine. A mine! This is no mine, it is a tomb. We have but one choice. We must face the darkness of Moria. All right, so I'm gonna take Gandalf and Boromir up ahead. Now the reason is I want to level them. The way it works, okay, you have a persistent, um, persistent uh, army that ranks up throughout the campaign, and this includes heroes, of course, as well. And we'll see about that, I suppose. Either way, the way you do this, the most efficient way of doing this, is to try and get some free levels for some of your heroes. Not all of them, but some of your uh, heroes. And you can gain one level by normally ranking up. Okay, that will not be a problem. I don't understand exactly what... Quiet! Goblins are close. I think they're targeting Gandalf. 
They sure like to do that. No right. Drive them off any way you can. All right. Let's keep moving. And I'll get elven gifts to do more damage. My heroes will do extra damage. Alright, Gandalf. I'll give that to Gimli, that second treasure. Keep moving. Humans. Brace yourselves. Drive him off, Odegrand. Come on, Boromir. Okay. We should have made for the gap of Rohan. Keep quiet. Yeah, listen to the wizard. Keep quiet. All right, this goes to Gimli. He has a hard time leveling because he's so small. Not kidding on that, by the way. Either way. Alright, I'm gonna keep them over here. Hey, if they're gonna target Gandalf, I might as well use them, right? Nice one. Very nice indeed. There was supposed to be a treasure over there. Huh. Yes. I thought there was supposed to be a treasure. So we got two. Maybe it's just bugged. Let's see. Nope. Well, I guess I'll have to content myself with the fact that Die! Destroy them! Send them back to the abyss! The with this situation. I have no memory of this place. It's no big deal though. Intruders! Attack! Attack! Because he can always do that. All right, let me just save here. I mean, that the amount of experience the Boromir just got, that's certainly a <laughs> nice bonus over there. There's a... I'm pretty sure there's a treasure that's missing. It might just be the mod, because there are five treasures based on the uh, bonus objective. You shall be no more. Now, I'm using a custom patch as well. Have you met Skate? Too long have you lived in Shanta. For Uncle Bilbo, foul creature. We must counter the All right. Attack! Gandalf will be perfectly fine experience wise. Intruders! I shall take you now! You 
shall fall on my sword. Here they come. Get him. Who knows? Maybe I can get Boromir level three in this one. Taste my blade yet. Too long have you lived in shadow. Be gone, you creature of shadow. I get this one. Back, you creatures. Okay. That one goes to Aragorn. Gandalf will level to uh, two, no problem. Now the treasures grant you uh, level you up at once. They don't ever account for your whatever experience you might have. So it's best to get as much to get a full level and then use this treasure. You can only use it to level three, though. You can't just get Gandalf to like level four from the get go. <laughs> That's just not how this works. All right, gonna get a, a heal ability. All right, let's go in. Legolas will clearly get level 2, no problem. We leave no one behind. We must move. We cannot linger. Goblins. They are coming. Let them come. Okay, door is gonna... Every hero is level two. Move then. Move to Kazadum. They will not get past me. Leave none standing. Drive him off. Legolas is going to level. Drive him off. Drive them back. So might as well. Uh, 
either this. Yeah. That did it. Such great damage, Legolas, really. At least the trolls are of the more appropriate scale. The enemy is upon us. They will not get past me. All right, Mary. Melee damage, range damage. Sam is. Sam and Frodo are better, clearly. The stench of evil must end here. The stench of evil must end here. I will not take long. run! All right. This treasure will go to Gandalf. A Balrog of Gavmorgoth, a demon of the ancient world. This foe is beyond any of you. Run! Brace yourselves! You heard the man. Run. Get the hell out of here. The Balrog is coming. The bridge is close. Keep moving. All right. Sense a great evil here. Oop, what? Don't fall behind! Here we are. All right, Legolas will need to wipe these guys out. Okay, Legolas, go over there. How much HP does he have? A thousand HP, two thousand on the rest of them. Yeah, he's not gonna get level three, at least not this mission. Maybe, uh. Nah. Okay. The hobbits don't matter anyway. Of evil must end here. This is your end. Filthy beast. The Hobbit. All right, go. What? Well, that's an interesting bug. Can you take it out? All right, let's go. The Balrog awaits. Here we go. Nor do you need to, you just need to kill it. Swords are no more use here. We must run! Hail! 
Yeah, it's an easy affair. I mean, to be fair, if Gandalf did have his entire spell arsenal, which he starts with if you're playing with him in skirmish or multiplayer, then this is easy. Well, except his level 10 ability, which is just a massive AoE that just smashes everything in its path. I still have a heal available. Alright, let it fly away. Don't underestimate the Balrog, though. It's pretty bu lady powerful. It's just Gandalf is a, a Balrog killer. Alright, one more lightning sword. Just keep Gandalf away and this will be one in no time. Is no more. With the Balrog defeated, the Fellowship continued their perilous journey. All right, mission complete. So, Legolas has begun his killing spree already. By the time of a campaign end, he probably would have killed 2,000 enemies. Ha! <laughs> 3,000 maybe. Depends. So. Moria, and we have escaped Moria. Now we get Eomer. The shadow of Sauron moves across the land. Lord Eomer and his horsemen must defend the villages of Rohan. Well, this can wait though. Costin here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.